Here we go. No, off you go. Okay. Great afternoon. Wonderful. Uh, it's always, um, I always wonder what sort of a story I'll tell. But I seen Daniel Morden was on earlier on. And uh, when I was at the Glens in October, but at Liz's, at the Glenarm Forest, Daniel did a story about a hole in the middle of a forest. So I said, I love that story. And it is a lovely story, but uh, on, on that horrible day for us over around here, on the Friday the 13th of December, about six o'clock that evening, I rewrote little Daniel's story. But it's still about a hole in the forest. And this is about a man who was running through the forest. And he had every reason to run through that forest. As he, as he ran and as he ran, he began to think he was been followed. And he had every reason to think he was been followed. Then he began to look over his shoulder. He had a pain in his neck from looking over his shoulder. thought people were following him and following him. But he didn't see in front of him was this big hole that opened up in the middle of the forest. And down he went. Now this fella wasn't all that tall. And he reached up on his tippy toes. He couldn't get his hands onto the edge. So he started to shout for help. Help, help. Well, about an hour later, a man was walking through the forest. And he heard a feeble shout for help. And he went over to have a look and he saw this big hole in the middle of the forest. And he looked down into the hole and he said, Boris, is that you? Of course it's me, said Boris. Well, do you want to get out? Of course I want to get out. Well, says the man, give me your hands and I'll pull you out. No, says Boris. Come on, says the man, stop your messing. Give me your hands and I'll pull you out. Sod off, said Boris. Well, the man did sod off to the nearest pub, which is right outside the edge of the forest. And an hour later, another man was walking through the forest. And he saw a big hole that opened up. And he thought him, oh, I better go and have a look into this. And he did. And then when he looked down the hole, he said, oh, Boris, it's yourself. Of course it's me, says Boris. You want to get out? Of course I want to get out. Give me your hands and I'll pull you out. No, says Boris. Come on, stop your mess and give me your hands and I'll pull you out. Sod off, said Boris. And the man did sod off to the nearest pub, which is just on the edge of the forest, and he started to have a drink with the first man. And of course, all you storytellers know, things are all within trees. So an hour later, the third man was walking through the forest, and he heard a shout for help. And he went over and he looked down. Well, Boris, great night you had last night. Never mind about that, says Boris. Do you want to get out? Of course I do, he says. Well, give me your hand and I'll pull you out. Sawed off, says Boris. The man sawed it off and he ended up in that pub with the other two men. He had you the forest. And there they were having a drink in the corner, discussing things. And a couple of hours later, the door squeaked open. And in come a rusty carrier. And the next thing was a wheel and in a saddle. A bicycle was been pushed in. And the man tied his voice and he looked to the side of the bar and the landlord says, Ah, Jeremy, Jeremy, bitter? Of course I'm bloody bitter, he says, after the kicking I got last night. I don't <laughs> mean that, says the landlord. Pint of bitter? No, I think I'll stick with mild, says Jeremy. And Jeremy got his pint of mild and he started to drink it and he drink it. He goes, Those men over, what are they doing here? I've never seen them here before. Ah, says the landlord, they came in couple of hours ago, they keep talking about a man in the fall into a hole in the middle of the forest. His name is Boris. What? says Jeremy. And Jeremy rushed over to the three men. He said, what's all this about a man called uh, Boris in a hole in the forest? Well, yes. Didn't you try and get him out? Of course we tried to get him out. What did you say to him, said Jeremy? We says, give me your hands and we'll pull you out. Now, 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 says Jeremy. Don't you know that Boris has never given anyone anything in his life? Now, come with me and we'll get him out of there. And the three men brought Jeremy into the forest, showed him the hole, and Jeremy looked down. Ah, Boris, 
congratulations for that tonight. You want to get out? Of course, I want to get out of here, Corbin. Take my hand, said Jeremy, and I pull you out. What? Boris took Jeremy's hands, and Jeremy pulled him out. And the two of them stood there, with the three men. And Jeremy thought to himself, this is old Boris. But Boris, that's not going to be the first hole that he's going to find himself in. And no matter how deep of a hole he digs, he'll always know that the press and everyone is going to blame poor old Jeremy. So there you go. And here we're now landed. I think it could have been the corona come out of that bloody hole anyways. Thank you very much. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant.